Thân ái gửi lời chào đến quý vị trong chương trình VNTV buổi tối hôm nay. À, mà sao rất là hân hạnh có một cô bạn cũng là khách à, cho chương trình tối hôm nay. Đặc biệt hôm nay sẽ có một cái chương trình gọi là Cooking Show mà không phải là một cái cooking bình thường mà gọi là một cooking rất là healthy, rất là lành mạnh. Thì mà sao muốn nói tí xíu, à, cô Peggy Hamily là một cô giáo dạy về... À, Um, ESL cũng như là dạy về uh, French và cô cũng là piano teacher um, và gần đây thì cô có một cái đam mê là cô thích uh, hướng dẫn cho nhiều người biết cách nấu ăn đặc biệt là những món uh, về uh, điểm tâm hay là những món về uh, dessert đó, uh, để mà ăn mà được lành mạnh uh, cho nên hôm nay tôi uh, rất là vui uh, Emily can you just introduce yourself to the audience? Hi everyone, my name is Peggy Hammerly and I am here tonight because Michelle so graciously invited me to come I'm going to demonstrate one of my favorite new recipes for you. Um, I love this recipe because it's not only delicious, but it's also healthy. So it won't uh, won't make your blood sugar spike, and it won't uh, make you get fat mm, if yes. eaten in moderation. Okay, you yeah. could you could still overeat it, but in small servings, it's perfect. So. Awesome. So what do we have for the recipe, uh, Peggy? Okay, yeah, so tonight... What is the name of the uh, yeah, recipe too? Okay, the, the recipe is called uh, Peau de Crème au Chocolat. And um, it means chocolate cream pots. It's a French recipe and it's been adapted by a, a wonderful lady named Catherine Katz. And so I borrowed this recipe from her. And I love her, her slogan. She says she creates food that loves... She loves the food that loves you back. And so the reason it loves you back is that it doesn't sabotage your health when you eat it. Um, so tonight, I think when you when you eat a normal uh, pot de crème au chocolat, they are usually full of butter, uh, cream, eggs, and sugar, and all of those things together are not so healthy. But uh, tonight's adaptation of the recipe, you're going to be surprised at when you see what's in it because it mm. it's actually got some healthy ingredients, and it's not going to do any of those bad things to you, but it's also going to feel creamy and rich and delicious. So okay, should I great. show you? Yeah, please. You want to see what we Go do? Okay. Yes. All right. So we're going to start in this order and it's just got a few ingredients. So we're starting with um, some coconut milk and I'm adding, I just added six ounces of coconut milk to my blender. Mm, okay. And then the next ingredient I'm going to put in are medjool dates. Medjool is a type of date very sweet, very soft, but we need to make sure we take the pits out of the dates first. So I'm going to check these dates and make sure that I've actually taken all the pits out. I, this one is not pitted yet. So here we go. So I'm adding five pitted dates and these are nice and soft because I just re recently bought them. However, if you happen to have these dates in your, free, in your pantry and discovered that they're kind of hard and um, you know, tough, don't despair because you can soften them up by just um, putting them in the microwave with a little bit of water and they will soften up right away. So they're very easy to use. Almost done with the pitting of the dates. So, so uh, như quý vị thấy là cổ vừa để 6 ounce uh, sữa uh, gọi là coconut milk nha, chứ không phải là sữa bình thường, sữa dừa đó. Rồi uh, 5 cái trái uh, trà là nha rồi thêm vào đó cái kế là cổ sẽ để vào là uh, tofu okay. so the very next ingredient we're going to add is called silken tofu and silken tofu is very creamy okay it's not there are different kinds of tofu so you want to look for soft silken tofu this one is actually not as soft yeah this one is soft okay mm -hmm. sometimes it's uh, they're firm so this one is a nice soft one it will blend up really nicely Okay, and we don't drain it. We just empty it with the liquid. Perfect, um, perfect size. I don't have to measure it out. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing I'm going to put in there is some black lentils. Mm -hmm. Okay, black lentils are full of protein. You can cook them yourself or you can buy them in a can. These happen to be canned and I um, rinse them. They're low sodium and uh, they're organic. So I, I, I use these. Half a cup black lentils. And the very 
next and last wonderful ingredient is what I call the pièce de résistance, which is melted dark chocolate. Okay, so we are using eight ounces of melted dark chocolate, and you want to get chocolate that's about 60 to 70 percent cacao. Okay, that's the best to use. Has the least amount of sugar. All right, so we're going to put that in. À, trong lúc cô Peggy thì tôi cũng cho quý vị biết là sẽ có cái recipe này trên màn ảnh để quý vị có thể thử à, ở gia đình cũng như ở nhà. À, một điều tôi rất là học hỏi được và ngạc nhiên là khi khi mình nói tới những cái món à, dessert là mình nói phải có đường, phải có bơ, à, phải có trứng mà như quý vị thấy không có những cái gia vị đó. Ok, so now it's 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 slowly mixing. I'm going to speed it up a little bit and we're going to let it go for about two minutes. It's a little bit noisy. And the idea of uh, blending it for two minutes, we want to get the dates and the lentils nice and uh, smooth and mixed in. So we don't want any lumps. It has to be very nice and smooth and creamy when we're done. So I think that's probably blended pretty well. I can see that it looks very well mixed. So um, it's ready to pour into a, a container. And I did bring some finished finish product with me tonight so that, um, because we don't have an oven here to bake it, so I brought some, some already cooked ones that I made earlier today. So what makes you so passionate about this recipe? Like, what was the story behind oh, this? Oh gosh, well, eight years ago, I was very overweight. I was about 60 pounds heavier than I am now. My blood pressure was sky high. Uh, I, was, I was going down a very bad path. My parents had both uh, come from a line of, uh, our family history was full of heart disease and strokes on both sides of my family. I was also a two-time cancer survivor, and I really didn't think I was going to live a very long and healthy life. And so um, I was very discouraged, I was depressed, and uh, it was then that I kind of reached out to my doctor and she pointed me to a program that turned my life around. And through that program and then through my own study and uh, health coaching later, as I, it, it impelled me to become a health coach. When I was a little girl, I have to show, show, start back at the beginning, when I was a little girl, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to be a teacher or a nurse. Mm. I kind of wanted to do both. And so I opted for teaching, but there was always a part of me that loved nursing. When, I, when my children were sick growing up um, and I had to take care of them and make them feel better, I just loved making them feel better, getting them better. So what I'm doing now as a health coach, and I spent 42 years as a school teacher, but now as a health coach, I get to kind of combine my love of teaching and my love of helping people feel better. So it's mm -hmm. kind of the best of That's both worlds. Right. So what happened to me is I was able to lose 60 pounds, keep it off for the last eight years. I've, I ran a, um, a triathlon in December, my very first one. Um, and my whole life is, has turned around. And I want to give people hope, people who feel that they're stuck and um, they don't know what to do about it, that there is hope. It's just a matter of knowing, uh, of, of reaching out people that can help you, health coaches, like I, there are lots of people that want to help you get out of your rut. And so that's, that's what I do and wow. that's what I, I love. Wow. Thank you so much, Peggy. You're welcome. Um, thưa quý vị khán thính giả, thì tôi cũng muốn nói sơ uh, những gì cô Peggy vừa trình bày là cổ đam mê là tại vì cũng qua một cái quá khứ, qua cái cuộc sống của cổ, cổ uh, bị rất là nhiều nặng ký mà cổ tưởng là cổ không có thể sống được và cũng qua những cái ung thư. Tôi nói chung là cái sức khỏe của cổ rất là tệ hại. Xong giờ vậy cổ tìm ra những cái uh, recipe mà để ăn uống có lành mạnh mà cũng có thể là nó Uh, cổ thích nữa chứ không phải là chỉ là những cái món mà tôi không thể ăn được vẫn ăn được nhưng mà thay thế thay vì uh, bơ dầu mỡ thì là những cái chất nó lành mạnh hơn nó bổ hơn uh, Peggy so what what is the message that you like to share to the audience today? The, I guess the me the main message is that uh, there is a whole world of food out there or there's a whole world of um, alternatives. To, we have choices in life, and, and every day we can choose what we do is going to give us life and health or 
it's going to lead us down the wrong path to um, sickness and, and ill health and death eventually. So what we eat, what we do every day, those choices are going to take us one way or the other. And so I want to just give people lots of great options, show them that there's, there are fun things to eat, there are fun things to do that will be, uh, it's not a life of deprivation, it's, it's a life of, of richness. So. Um, cô Peggy muốn gửi đến quý vị khán thính giả là trong cuộc sống có rất nhiều sự chọn lựa và cũng có rất là nhiều sự hy vọng cho nên quý vị đừng có cảm thấy là mình phải bị uh, trong cái chỗ là không có uh, lối thoát À, trong cuộc sống cả giống như cổ chia sẻ là cái cuộc đời của cổ của tưởng là cổ không có thể sống được không có thể cuộc sống lành mạnh mà bây giờ cổ sống được lành mạnh và có nhiều cái sự chọn lựa để mình sống cuộc sống nó à, tốt hơn vui vẻ hơn à, cho nên đó là cái lời mà cổ muốn nhắn gửi đến quý vị khán thính giả à, cũng như chính chúng tôi là những người à, chúng tôi vào cuối tuần này đặc biệt là xã lên núi I'm talking about we going up to the Palomo Mountain oh, yes. và à, chúng tôi sẽ có một cái chương trình gọi là Destination Healing cho những người cảm thấy có nhiều cái uh, thắc uh, vẫn vơ hay là những cái buồn chán những cái gì mà nó không có được khoát ra thì chúng tôi mời những người đó đi với chúng tôi lên núi để uh, làm những cái uh, therapy cũng như là làm những cái khúc hình sô như vậy để có thể uh, rảnh ra và làm cho cái tâm trí mình nó nhẹ đi cũng như vơi đi những cái uh, đau khổ những cái buồn chán hay là những cái gì mà trong quá khứ quý vị đã đau khổ À, một lần nữa cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi uh, chương trình VNTV. Uh, thank you so much for coming and show us your thank cooking you. recipe and hopefully we'll learn and share to the whole world. Thank you Michelle. Thank I appreciate you. your having me here. No thank problem. You. Thank you so much. Bye bye.